So in Maya 2017, we introduced a new way to handle hair, and that is the interactive grooming editor that you see here on the right side. This character here has hair created with the interactive grooming, and as you can see when I get closer, we have tens and ten thousands of little hair tubes that are, of course, not good for the use in games. For the use in games, we need to create some sort of polygon cards that run along the direction of the hair and carry some sort of a texture, normal maps, for example, that would be much faster and save the performance of the game. So in this example, I would like to show you how you can convert coming from the interactive groom, how you can convert that into polygon cards. And we're going to take the, in this example here, the neck of the character, the nape object here, that's this piece that I'm toggling. Let me turn off the lighting here and I will dive in. And the first thing that I want to create is a new modifier called linear wire. This linear wire actually creates curves coming from the existing hair. So when I go down here, I can click on this create button and I also need to adjust the thickness a little bit. I think that should be up here. So the width of this hair should be set to something like two so that we can see that a little bit better. And I can also go in and change the number of, of total splines. So in this example here, this is a default value. Now when I, when I increase the the density multiplier, you see that we get more and more splines. And depending how many you want, you can set it however you like. You can also change it later if you think you need more of these splines. And this object acts very much like a regular hair in that it has a sculpting deformer, so a sculpting layer that we can see here. And I can switch that to edit to the edit mode. And now I can use, for example, a, gr uh, a grab brush with a certain width and grab this hair and modify it directly and move it around. You see it's very fast because it runs on the GPU and allows me to sh still shape that thing. Another thing that is possible here is to change the width of the hair. It's, it's basically a display setting, but it will also later be used when we convert this into polygon strips. This width will be used for the width of the polygons. So I would go into the width brush and you can see when I draw over the whole thing, it, it turns over all of these little little splines or lines turn into very wide strips. And I can also flood the whole thing to get the same width for all of these um, to become polygons objects. Another thing that we see here is that it has a certain color. There is a shader attached to it. At the moment, it's just a surface shader. But of course, I can also turn this into a blend shader, for example. Maybe you turn down the color a little bit right so that we can see that so at the moment all of these um, strips these objects are facing the camera that's an automatic thing so all of the all of the lines that have turned into very wide strips are facing the camera at all times and that is something that i can adjust so i can go in and say I don't want these to face the camera all the time. I think it's here on the in guide. So face the camera, I turn this off and now they get some orientation somehow. I think it's a, I think it's a random thing at the moment. They, they are adjusted to some zero value or so. And there is a brush actually that let me twist all of these objects. When I shift right mouse button on my current tool, so currently I'm in, in the grab tool still, on the shift right mouse button, I can go to the twist brush. And the twist brush in the tool settings allows me to twist these objects so I can draw and they, they turn around. You can also make a, have a drawing mode of aligning them to the surface. So when I, as soon as I touch one of these splines, they're going to align to the surface. And of course, I can flood that also. So I'm doing that for all of these objects. And you see now they're all aligned to their respective surface. Also worth to mention, we have cut brushes and length brushes and so on and so on. So there's a lot of editing capabilities here. So now let's go and turn this object into a polygon. In the generate menu, you will find this function here, the convert interactive groom to polygons that gives you an option box and allows you to define, for example, that you want a combined mesh after the conversion, how shaders or UVs are applied to these polygon strips. And you can 
do and apply. And now you see when I do that, I get a lot of polygons because along these polygon strips, I have something like 24 polygons for each of the strips. So too many strips and too many polygons. So let's undo that and go back into the object and change this value. So down here in the in guide base, you will find the CV count and that is set to 24. And that's of course why we had so many polygons. When I set this back to six, for example, and I need to click on rebuild, you will see that it's that's much better now back to the in guide and apply the conversion. And here are my polygons. This is now pretty good. Let me turn off in the display for the polygons. Let me turn off the texture borders. So this is now my object. I can now go in and first let me turn off the linear wire so that we can see the whole thing a little bit better. And I can now go in and take individual polygons and move them around. For example, you know that when you hold the control and middle mouse button, you can you can move the polygon in and out. So to to work on overlapping things, for example, that would be a way control and middle mouse button in and out works on points, faces and on edges A move along normal. Very simple thing, much easier than to dive into any menu. So this way you could edit the whole thing still. And now what we finally need to do is to assign a shader. So right mouse button here under existing shaders, you will find a hair shader that does the trick. So all of these polygon cards turn into, you know, like very feathery shaded hair. So that's a big improvement to the workflow of turning X-Gen interactive grooming hair into polygon cards in Maya 2017 update three.